Hi Jenners, I'm Teeds, and today we have some leaked patch notes. Well, I guess it's on the PTS servers, and just a disclaimer real quick, it is on the PTS server, so things may change when it comes out. But we have some nerfs and some buffs for some of the Pokemon in Pokemon Unite, which I'm going to go through. So, with that, feel free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified for more videos just like this one. Okay, let's jump into it. So, we have the PTS changes confirmed summary. This is from the math cord. Huge thanks to Kohari27 for posting this. First up, we have a Azumarill. They have nerfed Water Pulse. It is now 5 seconds cooldown instead of 4 seconds. And the damage has been nerfed too. There are no changes to Aqua Tail. So Azumarill is receiving a nerf with the cooldowns and the damage with its Water Pulse. Next, we have a Darulodon. The so Darulodon has been nerfed. Dragon Pulse is 9 second cooldown instead of 8 seconds. And Dragon Tail cooldown is between uses in 2.5 seconds instead of 2 seconds. So Darulodon is a very interesting one for me because with Darulodon, I thought that, you know, we haven't really heard much about Darulodon changes. But Darulodon has been the top winning percentage Pokemon for such a long time. So it's really, really interesting to see this nerf come up now. And I'm very curious to see what this does with Darulodon. Will it still reign as king as like the most win rate Pokemon, the highest win rate? Or is it going to change now? I'm very, very curious to see who can like take the crown from Darulodon. <laughs> Next, we have a Shifu. So a Shifu has a buff to liquidation, base 10 seconds instead of 12 seconds, upgrade 9 seconds instead of 10 seconds, and there is a shield buff. There are no nerfs on Dark. I haven't played much of a Shifu, so I can't really comment on what I think about this buff or nerf. I don't hear a lot of complaints about a Shifu either, but they are trying to buff its move. As I'm guessing it's because no one uses the water-based moves. <laughs> That's my guess. Next, we have Dodrio. So Dodrio has a nerf on agility. It is now 11 seconds instead of 10 seconds, and they have buffed Jump Kick 6.5 seconds instead of 7.5 seconds. So they want to encourage jump kick more i guess and pretty much i think its most popular move set is like using agility so it's probably why they want to turn it down a bit cinderace so they have buffed pyro ball the damage of pyro ball has been buffed that is interesting to me when i first read that the pokemon are getting buffed and nerfed i thought cinderace is going to get a nerf for some reason but they're actually going to buff cinderace because i'm guessing no one's really using pyro ball anymore there was a time when pyro ball was absolutely demolishing it was crazy and i used it the other day i still felt like i was doing a lot of damage but they want to increase the damage of pyro ball which is going to be really interesting i wonder if it's going to bring like cinderace havoc because cinderace was just wrecking everyone and people were talking about it constantly the pyro ball damage buff that they did a while ago was just insane Buzzwell. So Buzzwell is getting a buff. It builds muscle gauge on wild Pokemon now at the same rate. So this is crazy to me because someone predicted in my comment section that they're going to buff Buzzwell because of the new battle pass. And now they're buffing Buzzwell. Look, I'm not trying to start a conspiracy theory discussion. I'm not trying to start, you know, any of that, but I'm just saying it's pretty funny and it's pretty interesting. With that though, I do think Buzzwell does need a buff. So I would like to see like how Buzzwell can do better in the meta. And I would also like to say that maybe they use the battle pass as an excuse for Buzzwell. Maybe they were going to buff Buzzwell anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to test this. It's not a full gameplay, guys. So don't worry, I'm going to let you see a full gameplay. But look, you can now stack it with wild Pokemon, the muscle gauge, which is crazy. That is gonna be so strong. So like Buzzwell, this is a bot game by the way on the PTS servers, but I think Buzzwell might actually be the winner of this patch, like predicting, because you can just stack it now on wild Pokemon, which is insane. And we don't actually have like a Buzzwell, we haven't had a Buzzwell meta like at all. Like, Buzzle's just been, like, so weak. It's just, its win rate has just been low for, like, ever, like, since it's released. It's just been struggling. So, like, we really needed a Buzzle buff. Looks like I'm gonna buy the Battle Pass now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it is interesting that the Battle Pass is the, um, that they're gonna buff it. They're gonna give it this huge buff, and they're going to put it as the battle pass holloware which is insane let's just like i just want to see if it's like these are bots so if i do anything cool it's 
not actually cool. That's just crazy. Like, you can just keep it up, like, all the time. How about LD? You won't even have to use, like, um, the moves that get the gauge up either. Like, you could just... You could just... You could just, like... Like, stack it so easily now. Which is insane. I really think that we might actually have a Buzzle meta. Like, Buzzle mains are gonna be eating this patch, in my opinion. Which is kind of scary. Like, I don't mind it at all because I think every Pokemon should have a meta spotlight. But, like... We're back down, but I don't think we really need to, maybe? I don't know. That is just insane. I'm really enjoying this. I don't play Buzzwool. Maybe you can tell by my gameplay. <laughs> but I'm really happy that it gets this buff because I think Buzzwool, just like Garchomp, deserved a buff as well. Even though it's a mosquito and as an Australian, I just hate mosquitoes. I guess everyone hates mosquitoes. But... Just to be able to stack it so quickly, that's crazy. Just keep it. Oh my gosh. Like, whoops, I didn't click that fast enough. That's insane. All right, I just wanted to show you that real quick. I really think that Buzzwell is going to be really strong, like predicting it. And I think it's going to be like, this is definitely, like, this, this has to be like the winner of the patch. Like this has to be like crazy. <laughs> okay. And lastly, we have Sableye. So Sableye, the nerf, Confuse Ray, 10 second cooldown instead of 8 seconds. So they have added 2 seconds to Sableye's Confuse Ray. And with Sableye, it is dominating in the meta a lot. And it's just crazy. It's a really good Pokemon. It is basically doing like what Hooper did a while ago. Remember when Hooper was released and Hooper changed the meta and like you just couldn't... Like the only way they nerfed Hooper was to change the map. <laughs> <laughs> and they just did that but like yeah this is really interesting okay so very short patch notes i don't know when this is going to be released i'm probably still like testing it out and see if it's like really good or not but that's the patch let me in the comments down below which changes are you like you feel the most um emotional about i don't know like good or bad <laughs> let me know in the comments down below i really am looking forward to buzzwell's buff i want to see if buzzwell actually like you know it in the games and you're like oh my god it's a buzzle i'm scared i don't know <laughs> but that is all for this video thank you so much for watching trainers i hope to catch you for the next one like the video if you enjoyed this subscribe to the bell to be notified for more changes and updates and gameplays etc and check out my comfy gameplay too we'll be linked down below okay bye